The Odd Picnic Look at the top picture on page 5. Oswald is the super noodle, or leader, of the club today. He planned a picnic. The super kids are walking to the picnic spot and carrying bags of food. Listen as I read the first sentence. Oswald is the super noodle. Oswald is pointing which way they need to go to get to the picnic spot. Listen to Oswald say the words in his speech balloon. The picnic spot is up the hill. Now look at the bottom picture. Edabetta and Cass are carrying bags with buns in them. Listen as I read the top sentence. Edabetta and Cass spot robins. The baby robins in the nest are hungry. Their beaks are wide open. Listen to Edabetta say the words in her speech balloon. Let's help the robin. Now turn to page six. Look at the top picture on page six. Edabetta is ripping a bun into bits or small pieces and scattering them on the ground. The mother robin picked up bits of bun and is feeding it to her babies. Listen as I read the top sentence. The robin gets bits of bun. Cass is hungry, too, and is eating a bun. Cass suggests that she and Edabetta eat up all the buns. Listen to Cass say the words in her speech balloon. Mmm! Let's gulp up the buns! Now look at the bottom picture. Uh-oh! Hot Rod fell. Listen as I read the top sentence. Hot Rod trips. The bag rips. The plums are going to fall out of the bag. Alf has an idea. He and Hot Rod can eat the plums. Listen to Alf say the words in his speech balloon. Let's put the plums in us. Now look at the top picture on page 7. Tick, Tack, and Tock are tired and thirsty. Listen to Tick say the words in her speech balloon. I am hot. Let's rest. Tack knows how to solve the problem. She is handing out cans of lemon pop from their bag. The girls are sitting down to rest and cool off. Listen as I read the next sentence. Tick, tack, and tock. Sip the lemon pop. Now look at the bottom picture. Sal has been carrying a melon in his bag. He and Doc are sitting down and resting. The melon is too big and heavy. Listen to Sal say the words in his speech balloon. I cannot lug the big melon. Doc has a solution. She and Sal are eating the melon as they rest. Listen as I read the bottom sentence. Doc and Sal get rid of the melon. Now turn to page 8. Look at the top picture on page 8. Lily and Icky are carrying bags of carrots. They are walking by a pond. Listen as I read the first two sentences. A rabbit hops past. Hip, hop, hip, hop. Lily and Icky stand still and watch the rabbit. Then Lily has an idea. Listen to Lily say the words in her speech balloon. Let's put a carrot on the stump. Now look at the bottom picture. Lily has put a carrot on the tree stump for the rabbit to munch. She and Icky are sitting and munching carrots too. Listen as I read the first two sentences. The rabbit spots the carrot. 
Lily and Icky get rid of the carrots. Listen to Lily say the word in her speech balloon. Mm. Now look at page nine. Listen as I read the top two sentences. The super kids stop at the picnic spot. But the picnic is a problem. Everyone is at the picnic spot. Oswald is ready for everyone to unpack or take out the food from the bags. But there's a big problem. The bags are empty. Listen to the super kids say the words in the speech balloons. Let's get the picnic stuff. No pop is left. No melon is left. No buns. No carrots. No plums. Now turn to page ten. Look at the top picture on page ten. Oswald is taking something out of a hole in a tree stump. Listen to Oswald say the words in his speech balloon. The picnic can still happen. I hid gumdrops. Now look at the bottom picture. Hooray for Oswald! He hid a bag of candy at the top of the hill before the super kids got there for the picnic. The super kids flopped on the grass. They are eating gumdrops for their picnic. Listen to the super kids say the words in their speech balloon. It is an odd picnic, but it is fun. <laughs>